Good morning, guys. Welcome to Wednesday. Three days till Gabby's birthday. Sam and the girls are down at the barn feeding the horses. And I wanted to tell you guys before they get back that I do have a few little surprises to make Gabby's birthday extra special. You probably know by now that she wants to spend her birthday entirely in her room. She wants to spend her whole day up there, laying on her bed with her lights on, and playing with her friends, talking to her friends, playing Roblox. She just wants to relax. That is the key. She doesn't want any parents. She just wants to relax and not have any rules, any anything. And I think a lot of you guys can relate to that. However, I think with what I have planned for her birthday, that might change. She might change her mind and not want to be in her room all day. The other thing that I wanted to tell you before our video gets started for the day is that the thing that I was gonna buy that got sold, she still has some of it and it's an important part. So even if I end up buying like half of what we need, I think that'd be still beneficial for us. So hopefully that will work out today. So yesterday I told you we went shopping at Sophie's Closet. Sophie's upset because we shopped for free and she is a pay only store, paid yeah. only store. She has to pay a hundred dollars. So $50. I showed you what I got. Gabby got this Lululemon sweater, which is gorgeous. What else did you get? And she got this amazing roots hoodie that says, that says equestrian on the side. So that's super cool. I think she also got a couple other things that she hasn't worn yet, but yeah, we did we did awesome in our my, deal yesterday. Um, so every night, okay, not every night, most nights, okay, some nights when I go to bed, I will sometimes say, like, God, tell me what I need to talk about tomorrow, because I've got nothing. This isolation has really affected what we can do, and it really affects our vlogs. I've noticed that not a lot of the people that I watch are even posting right now. So, um, normally, sometimes God gives me an answer, and sometimes not. And last night, he said, I think it's time you talk about masks. And I was like, okay, I can do that. Like, in Canada, where we live, nobody's using masks. I know in some states that they're saying you can't go out anywhere unless you use a mask. In Canada, it's not like that. We don't use masks. But today, in homeschool, we're going to learn how to crochet a mask. I have this bag of wool here, and we're choosing what we want to make our masks out of. Sophie thinks this, this would be fun because it's so soft. But this is smaller, and it also is soft. But this is really hard to learn to crochet because they don't even know how to crochet. Yeah, so I think I should do this one. No, that'll be a ginormous mask. Yeah, I need a ginormous mask for my ginormous head. Okay, so this is what the masks look like. There's three loops. Three. That's okay. No, there's two. There's so two. we all chose our colors. I'm going to do gray. Oh, that's right. Gabby stole it from me. So she's going to do gray. Gabby's doing gray. I'm doing green. And Sophie's doing peach. Yeah, so you're doing green. So now we need to figure out what size hooks we have. These are all the crochet hooks that I own in the whole world. These are cute colors. Yeah, those are cute. Those are those are cute. But they're small. I'm doing um, I have this line. little bucket that I have, <laughs> and I have this little kit. That's it. Those are the only ones I have. You know what? So this is something that makes me nervous. Sophie's sick. She just feels like belly sick, right? Like you're going to throw up? That's odd. How do you get sick when you haven't gone any place for weeks and weeks? See, I'm a little bit better now when I'm sitting because I'm not even moving. <laughs> so, Gabby's watching Grey's Anatomy. When we crochet, we usually watch TV. It's not something that we do very often, but anyway, it just happened today. And she's what and Gabby's watching Grey's Anatomy. One time, years ago, when Nick was a baby, Nick is like now 23, 24, I can't even remember. When Nick was a baby, he fell and he had to get stitches in the back of his head. Everything was going fine. We were sitting in a merge and they came in and said he had to get stitches and suddenly I got the flu. I felt sick to my stomach, I started sweating, I had to put my head between my legs. It was terrible. I thought I caught the flu, just being at the hospital. And then, like a couple of years later, he needed stitches again. I got the flu again. Maybe so, it's just I can't watch that stuff. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't even like watching that stuff. <laughs> I don't like watching that stuff either. That's crazy. It only affects me though when it's my own kid. I can t handle it. Actually, there's a lot of stuff I couldn't handle. There's a lot of stuff that I can't can watch. I'm making breakfast. Uh, I'm going to show you my mask. This is it. This is the mask I made. It only took about 10 minutes. And I think it's a bit big. 
It's a bit big. And also, I have to put a filter in it. But if I talk, it just falls down. So, yeah, it's a bit big. So, I'm making another one pink. And I'm making it a bit smaller. This is just two. This is going to be, this is Sam's size. This is Gabby's. She, she changed from making her mask back to making her blanket. She's been practicing a blanket from a, year ago. from a year ago. Yeah. It didn't work out. So she went back to knitting as well until she got the flu. Hey. Sophie puked. So yeah, she got the flu during the corona. But we didn't see anybody. So yeah, that happened. Uh, she still has an upset tummy so she didn't come down to help feed. Hi, Minnie. We are picking up something so cool this afternoon. I'll explain in a few minutes. I purged all this stuff from our house. I do not know why. All the, I do not know how all this stuff makes it to our house. Like, I don't know, I don't know how. I literally, ugh, I literally do not know how it makes it to our house. Uh, this is Sophie's neck rope. And this, is a Sam Shield bag that she's gonna use for her helmet bag. It's really cute, I love it. So cold out, Sam won't even come outside. I'm not even joking, it's that cold. It's like winter again. Once you've had a taste of spring, you can't go back. So Sophie's staying at home, Sam's staying inside because it's freezing cold, and I am waiting for Gabby because uh, she can't come down to the barn unless she's beautiful. Like the horses are really gonna be nervous and upset if she doesn't look beautiful. Maybe that's why Chino was following her around yesterday because she spent so much time getting ready. You never know. <laughs> I love it! Gabby's here! <laughs> no, it looks so good! <laughs> okay, don't fall. We do not need any more issues. Is it just me or do you guys get more nervous now when you're sick? Like, I feel like there's so much, I feel like there's so much stuff in the media about Corona that now anytime anybody gets sick, it's going to make us all stressed out. Come on, you got to feed the horses. Yeah. I'll feed the girls. That's fine. Oh, I'm feeding the girls. It's Sophia day to feed the horses. I don't care. I'm not going I'm out there. I'm doing the girls. Then you're doing the girls and the boys. Eat that stuff. Sam went to pick up grain today. Remember I told you guys that I'm trying to order it monthly now because of Corona. I don't like storing a bunch of stuff in here, but that's the plan. We have four, five bags that we got today. Hopefully that will work out. I don't even know how much we use in a month. But, see this pie? We have to eat it. The only way I'm gonna stop dreaming about eating this is to just eat it and get it done. Eat it or throw it out, but we're eating it. That's it. After today, there will be no more pie. But then it's Gabby's birthday. Did you guys know what she's doing for her birthday? I'll let her tell you.
love that horse. Like, I love him. Hey, tell everybody what your plans are for your birthday meal. So Gabby is getting to choose what she wants for her birthday. Mom wanted Chinese. Chinese. Yeah, Chinese, but maybe, yeah, in retrospect. I see what you're saying, but what do you want for your birthday? What's wrong with her neck? Nothing. Okay, so what do you want for your birthday? What's your birthday meal consist of? Oh, ice cream cake, which we probably won't be able to get. So you know those buckets of ice cream? Like that tall, that wide that one person eats? <laughs> it's for enough. four people. No. It says four to six. No. It's Not huge. those tubs. No, 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 those tubs are for like a hundred people. The tub you're talking about is four to six people. And it's called the ice cream sundae. I'll show you a picture when we get back to the house. You guys know what I'm talking about. They have chocolate and butterscotch and strawberry. They have different kinds yeah. of flavors. No, they just put ice cream into a little cardboard bucket. Oh, it's a, okay. That one person eats because it's only enough for one oh, okay. person. It's so, probably like that tall. Yeah, like Hagen-Dazs. Hagen-Dazs, like Nick buys them. Nick used to buy them. Oh, okay. All right. I want two bucks of those because two. I I can't choose between brownie and chocolate and cookie dough. Like so, you want three? Two buckets. Oh, okay. Two buckets of ice cream. Okay. Plankton's the eating. Um, <coughs> and I want cake. Two chocolate on chocolate on chocolate. Okay, so she wants an ice cream cake. If we can't get it, she wants two buckets of ice cream and a cake. Chocolate. For myself. Um. And then for our supper, we're actually going to have, instead of Chinese food, I don't like it, because um, there's nothing that I like there. Um, we're crazy. I, we're getting, well, we're making fondue. We're making fondue. Tell them what fondue is. Some people probably... Fondue is you take a stick, poke it in meat, like a square of meat, like that big. And then it's cut up, so you poke it, you put it in a water thingy, and it boils it. Oil. Well, oil, and it boils it while you just sit there waiting for it, and then you dip it in sauces. And yeah. My favorite's the garlic sauce. Yeah. So that's what she's gonna have: garlic sauce, garlic butter with meat, and ice cream and cake, or ice cream cake. That's her dream birthday. I said we should do like a. Uh, uh, I'm an equestrian. Does Roots even sell equestrian apparel? Or is oh. it like a fake root? No, it's real roots. Then does it sell equestrian apparel though? Yeah. They have butt pants that have it on the butt too. We're getting it. Three lunch robes and one of them is mine. Two of them are Sophia's. It's crazy. Yeah, Sophia's a shopper. All right, so see this? This is a tack store and they have some stuff down there. But when you order stuff, you have to pay e-transfer and then you knock on this door here and they open it and then they ask you your name and then they give you your product. And I was able to buy dun, da, 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 the supplement. So we had to drive an hour away, but I got it. And I'm gonna tell them that I'm gonna be buying more. It lasted us only about two months, would you say? Two months? I have to look it up and see. But this stuff is a lifesaver for us. The, like we're all, we're really low on it. So the girls have been giving a little bit less to Storm and I've noticed already that he's been grouchy. Did you guys notice he's been grouchy? Definitely excited to have this. Okay, so, shh, wait, he can't hear me. So we picked up this supplement and now we're headed, because we're in this area, we're picking up the thing that I told you we were gonna buy yesterday, the surprise, which I think all of you guys know because I've been getting messages telling me, uh, he's sending me links to ads for the thing that we're trying to buy all day. So anyway, there's a police car following us. Can we see it? And Sam's a little bit freaked out because we hate, when police follow. we hate when police, he hates when police, I hate when police follow me too, but there's not very many people on the roads and we're not supposed to be traveling. We're supposed to be staying home. So we have a story. We have a story that we had to go pick up a supplement for our horse, which we're allowed to do. And then we're looking for a gas station before we go home. So that's the story. But I'll let you guys know if he pulls us over. Pulled us over. Is this it? Hi there. Hi. Just notice your license is, like, is expired. Oh. It can't be expired. We just renewed it. last November. It should it? say November 20 on it. Yeah, it's 19 <laughs> and even, it. even MTO as it is. 19, not 20. 
they have your registration there. Yeah, Sometimes yeah. they usually they. Put, I'm trying to think if we did it. <laughs> and I know they send the notifications out so far in advance that sometimes it'll get uh, put aside and yeah we got pulled over and we were freaking out because of Laura's license. because our what is it called sticker our the sticker like our sticker um for, that you buy to put on your car saying that it's registered for I don't know even what it's for Sam takes care of it every single year he tells me when to go in and pay for it and yeah, he didn't do it. We didn't do it. We didn't do it. We missed a. Oh my god! You got a ticket for that. We could have got a ticket for that. He was the nicest police officer I've ever met in my life. He was kind of handsome. He was kind of nice. I'm like, we have never ever not got our our sticker before in our entire life. I'm pro probably everybody says that, but that's the truth. Like that's the first time I don't even I don't even know how did we miss that, Sam? Should have turned on a street before. No, how did we miss getting our sticker? It's your responsibility, your car. Sam always does it for me. Sam's gonna check the license plate. He just doesn't believe it. He doesn't believe that we forgot. He does not believe it. And I say we because technically it's my responsibility because it's my car, but, and also Sam, because he always has done it every yeah, year. It's November. Mm -hmm. November. <laughs> so you get me in trouble. Yeah, see, having a wife is not good for you. Okay, so we're here. I have to go in and pick it up. Awkward. The lady across the street is watching. Okay. Livson. The only time she does that is when I'm standing beside her. Gracie's getting so brave. Stop getting brave. I smell old cheap tack. You smell old leather? It's not cheap. So this is what we got. And I know some of you guys might not think it's a big deal, but it's a big deal to me. So I have to wash those. Things? This is what I was smelling. Yeah, I have to wash them. So they go on there. No, I don't think they go like that. One goes at the back and one goes in the middle. Yep, and then at the back. How does that, no. No, she told me the back. How is the back? I'll show you. So this is what we got. We got a saddle. It's called a saddle. I know. No, right here. Them. So I got the leather one. She had like a non-leather. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Literally annoying. We got the not. We they, she had a non-leather one that was smaller. Yeah. So that's the the bridle for driving. This is the back piece. Yeah. There's that's the a saddle. Try it on her. So for any of you guys that are non-driving people all the equipment like so the cart costs one price and then all this stuff is the same price as the cart like oh, wow it's nuts so it might not be like a big pro big deal but for us it's a big deal see if it goes around her Wait, her belly gabby's like i'm got it so anyways basically this will allow us to learn to line drive her perfectly and I'm i don't know I right now? tomorrow tomorrow yeah. I know God will bring a cart into our life when it's ready, when we're ready for it. Like maybe he's not bringing it yet because like maybe she sold that one because we weren't ready for it. I don't know. God always has a plan, but I know we will get a cart. But her old owner actually it is like she shows minis, drives minis, is like a professional. So, so she says that um, Will absolutely needs a bit. She said that she's been taken off on in carts with perfectly trained horses before and that if she didn't have a bit, she would have been catastrophic. So um, Will needs to get used to the bit for that. And she said also that it's because it's not like horseback riding where you have other aids, like you use your body for an aid instead of the bit. Um, th we only have the bit. This only has the bit. We're not gonna rush her into it, but I think it'll fit. You can adjust it, all of it. Um, we, we're not gonna rush her into the bit. It's like, yeah. Gabby says she has to try the bit without the halter first. I'm just Bridal. going like that. Bridal. She's gonna look cute. <laughs> She's gonna look so cute. She's like, what are you doing to me? I lived all this year with no fuss and now you guys are like it's, dressing me up. It's this Okay, somebody this. needs to fix yeah. this. No, it hooks up to that and the card, I think. But anyways, we will figure it all out. We've been watching videos and, and stuff. We're gonna clean it and oil it and make it beautiful and make it ours. It's the beginning. 
It's the beginning of this girl finally having a job. And, and she, I'm gonna be doing it with her every day. Yeah, we're gonna take her down the road in line driver, like just having once, this stuff. Once so she gets the hang of it more. Her. Yeah. The girls are bringing in the boys. I'm gonna go up and edit, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget, we have more surprises coming by the end of this week. Free.